Whoa. There is the mother load. Ooh, that's full of something. Oh, that's something I've never seen. Oh. Hey. Now we are finally able to get back into our $1,000 CEO business owning. People own like three businesses, just super rich people storage unit. And I'm so excited to finally be able to get into it. It's been over an hour waiting. You wanna know what happened earlier? Check this out. To the mathematicians out there, I want you to explain the odds to me. All right, we're here at the storage facility, right? Let's just drive around. Nobody here, nobody here. Here's the other row, nobody. Here's the next row right down here. Absolutely nobody. And here's this row right here. Oh look, these guys are unloading unit 425. You see the fire hydrant, the fire extinguisher? Guess whose unit is right next to that? Our unit. Let's keep going. Let's keep going to the rest of the entire facility. Nobody. And let's see again. Nobody. <laughs> and the absolute last place anybody can be, there's nobody. What are the mathematical odds of this happening every time? Now let's finally get back into the unit. Can I point something out before I start pulling out boxes? Who in the right mind decided to store the bear with his one hand in his pants and one hand hanging out? Every single time I come here, I'm like, I gotta point out the bear. We do it all, go home, and I'm like, forgot to say something about the bear. Look, like, really? It's just sitting there with its hand in his pants. Yeah, people who ever stored that, you got a good sense of humor. Let's get out this tote here, see what's inside of it. And then let's start pulling out some boxes. We're gonna clear out this one side of the unit first, I guess would be the best strategy, you think? Probably. I don't know. It's all leaning every which way. Yeah. Well, this one looks like it's going to be more of this like crafting fabric, if I had to take a guess. Something they cut or sew into something. This tote, yeah, it's all thread. So I'm going to guess that fabric is probably for sewing too, based off of what's in that one. Is there anything on the other side? Oh, there's another tote. And these receipts. Yeah, look at that receipt. So they did have a crafting business, a jewelry business, a lawn business. They had a business business. What's this? That. Uh, a lot more thread. How many spools of thread do you think we have in this two totes? So, weren't these on top of each other before? Yes. This one and this one. So I guess it fell down when we were gone, but I didn't even know it opened. So let's see what's in it. I literally, this whole time, I thought this was a shelf. And apparently it's got a drawer right here. Am I opening it upside down? I think yeah. I am. Do it this way. It looks like full. Might be paperwork. Yeah, ew, 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 ew. Papers, dead trees. People, the internet is a thing. We have Google Drive. Use it. Stop murdering trees and taking up space in the dump. Let's pull out the family room box right here. Oh, it's heavy. Let's set it here this way. Hopefully nothing tumbles out, which it inevitably will, but we'll see. You ready? Ooh, look at that. It's not going to tumble out. First thing is it a plate? Nobody keeps plates in their family room, do they? Sure they no. Do. What is that? That looks like it could be silver, doesn't it? That tarnish. What does that say? Silver plated. That's why. Silver plated. All right. Let's pull out a couple more things. See if it's just cut for what it is. Fall nicely. Fall nicely. Okay. This doesn't feel like a cup, but it looks like the shape of one. I guess it's a vase, so it's kind of in between. Kind of a cup, kind of not a cup. <laughs> Let's see what the square one is. When I saw a family room, I was thinking it wouldn't be kitchen, but maybe it is. These are family pictures. Military, actually. Everyone in the pictures in a military suit, so I guess they had a lot of military in the family, too. One more thing. We're gonna open up, which one? Pick a good looking one. What's behind here? Oh, there's stuff in there, isn't there? Oh, whoa. I would have thought that was all wrapped up stuff. Look at you. <laughs> Here's Pooh's honey pot. Doesn't it look like the right shape? Yeah. Let's just see. It's actually just a big old see-through vase. Nothing special. Set that over here. All right, let's get this stuff out the way. Look at that. It's like a wooden box in there, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. I was <laughs> hoping with all this other glassware, maybe it's a silverware set again. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Sterling silver set. Let's see. There's so much stuff packed around it. There's no way 
this is packed by a family. I'm assuming this is packed by a moving company because they stored everything. If you're packing your own house, you don't pack your sugar and stuff like that. It's already half open, spilled everywhere. But a moving company, they're like, pack everything in the house. Aye, aye, Captain, we're packing everything. Your trash, the sugar, everything. What is this? How do I get it out? I've got a handle on it. What is that? Check it out. It's like a barrel football or something what do you think's inside of it well i think it this is the bottom part of it so you set it like this upside yeah maybe it, hang, it could hang on a wall or sit i guess i don't know well <laughs> nothing's in it like a spice rack thing maybe maybe for your spices yeah i was about to say shot glasses but mm. either one could work i guess that's what i was what i was expecting but mm. oh well the rest of it though it does look like wrapped up glass but i wanna okay that's a picture never mind yeah, we're just gonna pack this stuff back up and move on to the next box. Now I got a master bedroom box. It's heavy. It's really heavy. If I put it here, can you see it? No. Oh, just trying to save my back, but I can't. I mean, if you un untape it, I can get up on the truck. I'll put it right here. Yeah, it's a struggle being six foot five, you know? Well, I need boxes that height to see on the truck. What height? Like the normal box. Oh, that was just a kitchen box, by the way, full of food. Oh, this isn't what's supposed to be in the master bedroom. Not towels. What is that? Oh my gosh. I would, this would be thrown so hard across my room if that woke me up. It's an alarm clock wind chime. This would be 100% through the window on the first day. Hey. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You Something know what you got? It. Yeah, it's your Christmas present. Oh, you have to open it. My hands are it's full. It's expired candy. Oh, boy, thanks. You're, you better be thankful. <laughs> uh, jeans close this phone feels like it's actually in there but let's see no it's just the manuals all right let's see let's go underneath all the clothes i'm just gonna throw them out hey i see a playstation game what's in here combs and stuff this looks like more guy stuff last time we find lots of women's stuff in the women's or the bedroom hey advanced warfare we found the manual of the best call of duty this is the worst call of duty ever released but it's in there Look at that. Harry Potter for the PlayStation 1. Nostalgia. Uh, there's a little belt buckle in there. There's a video game in here. Madden NFL 2002. I'm just gonna leave it in there. What else do we got in here? Ooh. What do you think it is? More games. More games? I like your thinking. Oh, right when I said it started to look like the guy stuff, now they hit me with the makeup. To be like, uh-uh, don't you be thinking that. No, no, no. Um, what about the camo case? Is this a, I don't want to say it. It looked like a PSP size case, is it? Is it too small? No, yeah, too small. Oh, what is that? I have no idea. It looks like drips. Vape, vapor blends. Ah. All right. Uh, that's just junk. And this, there's something in there. It's all black. Is it just a remote? uh let's see the glasses case that's a jewelry box no there isn't it nothing in the glasses case but that looks like a jewelry box and it's not empty i swear if it's makeup i'm throwing it on the roof of the facility nope it's definitely not look at that it's one pair of earrings no look, the other one might be in there listen i think the other pair is in behind and that's there and these are marked 925 so they're sterling silver earrings not bad what are these DVDs. All right, let's keep going. Going closer and closer to the bottom. What's in this tote here? Ooh. Ooh, this one's all taped up. Before I open that, let's look in the box first. There's a couple more totes down there. Okay, we're gonna have to open this one first. Right over here. Where's my knife? There it is. What do you think's gonna be in here? Video games, right? Money, jewelry, guns? <laughs> yeah, all of the above. Oh yeah, okay, there's just an AR-15 in here. Let's see. <laughs> Speaking of guns, though, I see something that says law enforcement in that box. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it's a tape somewhere else? Probably the back. Oh, it is. No, it's just not moving. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, they're all teeth. Ew. Oh, gosh. They're all teeth. That's. Ew. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're just gonna close that. I'm assuming, I'm hoping 
that's their kids' teeth that fell out, and it's not just a personal collection of other people. That would be a little weird, not gonna lie. <gasps> Whoa! There is the mother load. Let's see what's in this one. Oop, that beautiful thing. It's got hair all stuck in it. Let's see. This one. Ooh, there's a ring. You think it's marked? Yes. With what? It's marked. No. Dang Unfortunately. It. But that doesn't mean nothing. Avon. What's in there? Mm -hmm. Little bracelet. All right, all right. What about this one? Oh, not in there. Of course, because it's 10 karat gold. This one. That looks like a nice one. These leather cases. Ooh, look at that. Cubic zirconium, but that doesn't mean it's not gold. Would they put cubic zirconium in gold, I wonder? I don't know. Sure. Either which way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know anything about jewelry besides gold and silver is expensive. Why is everything that says gold on it not in there? Oh, well, look at that. It says grandma. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Genuine crystal. That's a good way to make it sound fancy. Mm, sterling silver. Right there, this necklace. All right, all right. I want to see what's in this one. That box looks fancy. And, of course, it's empty. All right, so let's open this. I'm not going to open all the Avon ones because their stuff's usually just cheaper. But in there in there they're awful so there's that what's in fine jewelry there's nothing in that one either all right let's go down to the bottom level of this sucker uh, get, get off more jewelry in the bottom doesn't what's look the, like it from here what do you think no. uh, a little bit ah oh, i'd feel light but rings are light no what about this one coin purse nope sewing and this is just a book? Yeah, like a notebook. So is that. And that. And this is little baggies. Nice. This is for their other business. They didn't, you know, publicize this business. This was their fourth <laughs> one, their little underground business, if you catch my drift. But other than that, it's just a bunch of, what do you call it, books. Now let's pull out these other totes here. See if there's anything in these. These look like bathroom, but we'll quickly peek in there just to be sure. Like this guy, it's just bathroom stuff. Boom, and this one, <laughs> open. Why does it fight me so hard? Seriously. Uh, what is that? It says kiss on it. I don't know if I want to open it, but we're gonna open it, right? Right. Maybe. Nope, we're not gonna open it. That's just one of those cosmetic buttons they just put there. Like push it, it'll do something. What's it do? Nothing, just joking with you. Cosmetic buttons. And a whole bunch of maybe jewelry making stuff, nails, stuff Nail. like that. So, you know what? That little jewel right there made this box interesting. Totally forgot to show this. Uncle Mike's law enforcement shoulder holster. So you can put your gun on your shoulder. Let's make sure there's not a gun in here. No. But you know what? That makes it that much more exciting. That's medical stuff, by the way. And glue. Oh, why you need glue but that makes it that much more exciting to go through the other boxes because there might be one in there you guys see our new friend this car right here just kind of popped up pulled up just far enough to see what we're doing and just sitting there like i don't get people are we that interesting looking would you just want to pull up and just stare at us it's kind of creepy to me so we just pulled down this white box from on top of the brown boxes and it says it's a meat slicer which would be kind of cool i love deli meat kind of guy i like pepperoni and salami and stuff so you know if i could just buy the logs and have it slice it for me automatically that'd be cool let's see if it's actually what it is that is exactly what it is look at that that's pretty cool you know what we might have to keep that i'm about to just buy pepperoni logs just because i can slice it myself now like really, that's the first car to come in here. That's where it goes. That's like the only section that's open, really. Again, mathematicians, give me the odds. All right, let's get into this one now. This one was right under that last one we just pulled out. So, ooh, this might be like all kitchen stuff. That's 100% in there, what is that? Three in one hand blender. A hand blender, okay. So if this is all in here, this is a lot of nice kitchen stuff. Well, besides the candles. That's for when people um, cook seafood because it stinks up the entire house. Ugh, I hate seafood. Uh -huh. Oh, it does. Okay, this is not in there. That's the only thing I've seen so far. Oh, Hamilton be, Beach. That'd be so good. That would be cool. But it's probably somewhere else in there. I feel like we find, ooh, whoa, that's heavy. That's 100% in there. 
we always find pieces of this. You never find the box and it's actually together. And this one, it's actually in there. A complete Nutribullet. Like I don't even have no idea what it's worth off the top of my head. I just know that we always find pieces of them. Like I said, never a complete one. Ooh, now you got my attention, bacon balls. Bacon from your microwave, that's what's up. You know what, people like me that are too lazy to wait for it to cook, that's perfect. I'm gonna have to keep this too. We're gonna set up our kitchen here. Yeah. What else is there? A cordless kettle. Something's gonna spill it all in here. Yeah. Hope it's not sugar or something. No, I can't tell what it is. More candles. And this is a wine cooler. And then, actually a little basket to go on your table with all the fruits in it. What's the, mm, the smell? <coughs> I don't know what that is. It's killing me. I'm gonna go. I'm <laughs> no, gone. No. <laughs> the last thing in there is a collectible porcelain rose with hummingbird. <laughs> All right, this is the last video, guys. <laughs> Goodbye. So just pulled this box down from on top of this box right here, and I'm about to cut it open. Before I do that, you guys know what I'm gonna ask. Take those two seconds and leave that video a like and help this video get bigger and bigger. You really do help us a lot. And hit that share button because that is what helps us go like fly up. So please. Takes you two seconds. Let's see what's in there. Uh, looks like more kitchen stuff, but more so the cheaper kitchen stuff, like the Tupperware, biscuit pan. My phone's ringing. It's probably my homie scam. Likely, I'll hit him back in a little while. Some sugar and some cake tens and a rainbow duster or something. Dollar stuff at the yard sale, basically. So we got a little tote here that came out from up there. Let's see what's in this. I really want to open it because I see something lavender. I love the smell of lavender. Let's see. Open it up first. That's the first challenge. Come on. All right. This little sheep. And, wow, the sheep, I couldn't push it open, but the little stuffed animal sheep was enough to put it open. That makes sense. Lavender field, scented satchel. I like the smell of it. A uh, bunch of random who knows what. Ooh, that's full of something. What do you think's in it? Money. Ooh, okay, okay. Hell, you're actually Whoa. right. A 1946 penny, a 1964 penny, and a 1929 penny. Oh, <laughs> how did you guess that? I how have did you no guess idea. that? Let's go to the truck. Let's go to the, right here. Right here, the truck. Right here. All right. So those, the royal wedding crown. Honestly, I said money, but I was expecting like sewing stuff. Look at that, Elizabeth the second coin. That's awesome, what's the dollars? Are they silver certificates? They are, look at that. So 1957 silver certificate. I always like to look on the back because the really old ones didn't have the In God We Trust on it, but this one does. So let's look up in here, some of the coins. Now look at this, it's pennies. Cool. 1916, 1943, 42, 20, 56, 57, 20. That's cool. They keep all their wheatback pennies, maybe? Fun fact, in 1943, due to World War II, they had to make pennies in steel, but there were accidentally a very small number made of copper. And if you find the ones made of copper, they could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Easiest way to tell, stick it to a magnet. If it sticks, it's unfortunately a steel one, like ours is, and only worth a couple bucks. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. What's this right here? Canada, Canadian one dollar. They don't have Canadian one dollar bills no more. I don't think. I think no. they went to a coin, right? Yeah. Ooh, look, that's got something in it. I think they went to a coin, and they don't have pennies anymore either. Whoa, it's a golden Susan B. Anthony. That's something I've never seen. A golden Susan B. Anthony and a regular Susan B. Anthony coin side by side. That is super cool. Let me put that back inside really quick. It won't go back in. These look like a bunch of foreign coins. Now there's some more. You have to see a half dollar. 64 so it's silver actually silver half dollar um let's see anything else that's us in there the foreign coins i'm not going to really be able to tell you what they are the us ones i have a slight chance <laughs> i'm not seeing no more us if anyone else sees anything i'm missing make sure you let me know and let's take some of these bills out see what these are oh there's some saddam hussein money <laughs> from iraq there's one dollar from the bahamas and a hundred bucks from Mexico. Is there anything under the paper towels? No, that is it. But I'm like still in disbelief. <laughs> Did you just say money? I'm good. I'm you good. are good. You're gonna start guessing from now on. My stupid self got so excited. I forgot that we didn't even go through the tote. So let's bring that out here. We just literally, oop. You see what I see? That looks like more coins right there. Yes, it does. 
There's a little, what is that? Uh, that? Cuddly cousins. Oh, uh, that's kind of strange. I don't know about you, but I think cuddling with my cousin would be very strange. Ooh, is it gonna be more? Oh, dirty. Nothing, it's gonna be more, that's why. Oh no, look at that. Whoa. It's an old metal car. Does he have a date on it? That's not as old as I thought, it's from 1987. But still, definitely metal, definitely cool. Three, it's, two more in there. Is there two more? I see one more. There's one over here. Oh, there is, okay. Check out that guy right there. Again, definitely metal trucks are loud I know this one's also from 1987 same year so they might all be from the same year where's the third one oh, right here I see him. it's a littler one little red guy check that out from the year 1987 all from the same year all right let me set these guys over here as well now you can obviously see what's in these pill bottles aren't pills so let's see they just cleaners yeah they're all eyeglass cleaners this one empty what's this guy lighter yep pencil sharpener okay let's start beating around the bush <laughs> give me the coin book what is it roosevelt pennies Dime. or dimes duh roosevelt oh look at that hey so look 1965 1966 1969 i guess they just try to collect one of each year it's not that full or not. oh there's a whole page back there i missed <laughs> That's pretty cool. Coins are always good. And let's see, anything else in here that looks interesting? These little bags probably had coins in them at one point. Yeah, these have glasses in them actually. Yeah, that actually does have a pair of glasses in it. And a little cross. It actually feels like it might be metal. This might be silver. I don't see a mark on it right off the bat, but it definitely feels like it. So that was a cool little toe. And I'm seeing as we get closer to the back, it's getting better. Now, let's get this box down. I'm getting excited now, and you can find those kind of coins. I love it. Now it was just in a tote that I wouldn't even expect them in. Well, this box is dead. And hopefully, yes, cross your fingers with us, whatever's in there is not glass. Oh, Ew. Come well, on. it's kitchen craft. So you know what? Ooh, some Texas stuff for Jones. All right, you hungry? <laughs> Not for those. Yeah, I, I used to buy these just to eat them by themselves. But you know, no carbs for me now. Exactly. Feeling good. Yeah, we're not going through that one. I was about to say, I got this box down, but it had other plans. It's like really stuck, but it's holding it for us. So let's see if it's worth going through. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. This is the thing for your neck in a plane. This is another lamp. How many lampshades we found in this unit? Like, like 10? Yeah, like, like something like crazy that. Crazy amount. And all that's at the bottom is socks and the washcloth. So, you excited? You ready to go through it? Well, guess what? I'm not. We're putting it in the truck. Now I can get out this master bedroom box. But she pointed out an unfortunate fact that on this part, it looks like it says linens, but that doesn't mean it's all that's in there. It could be some clothes. In. Linens could be the packing material. Yeah, it could be the gold coins or all the silver yeah. ones. Never know. That's the thrill. Let's see. Well, so far. Well, 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 there's one box I see, it's not a towel. A kitchen scale, that's because we just bought one on Amazon. I also wouldn't have found it again. It would have dematerialized, don't worry. There's one other box way down at the bottom, but I can't tell what's in it. Yeah, come on, get out, get out. This guy, and look what it had. Jewelry, see, bang, oh. <laughs> It's in there, all right. Whatever it is. Ooh, look at that. It's a nice little bracelet. That's cool. It says RF in it. I don't know what that means, but maybe initials. I don't know. Maybe it's a brand. What's in these Avon bottles? These are all new eyeliner sticks. This is all new makeup. Look. Wow. Cool. So, whoa, look at the bottom. Look. What are these? Signature collection. Pull it out. Ooh, we're taking this to the truck. This is why you check it even when it says linens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, new makeup. What's this guy? Looks like uh, it said bracelet set, I think. Oh, did it? Oh, well, we're just gonna see. Oh, mm -hmm. whoa, look at that. Oh, what are these like charms to go on here? It looks like it. Cool. Aren't these usually silver? The Pandora bracelets? Well, yeah, but if it's Pandora. I think Pandora is like a brand in it. I don't know if it was a brand or like a name for a type of bracelet. I don't know. Look, signature collection. 
Oh, that's like a pearl necklace. Oh, look at this. This is all jewelry. Look at this. Underneath all this new makeup. Holy crap. Well, we did it, guys. We did it. We're retiring now. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Little Merry Christmas one. Just in time for Christmas. Yeah, just in time. And let's open one of these necklaces. These might all be the same. I don't know. Oh, they're watches. Cool. Look at that. Brand new. Maybe they're different color straps. Because based off the other video, they definitely probably collected watches or at least sold them. Yeah, look. <laughs> Red strap. Well, we know who's getting one of these or Black a couple strap. of these eyeliner sticks. Who? Your mother. Probably. That's all she wears. <laughs> nope, there's another black one. So maybe it's just one red one? Or is like the red, like the special one you ordered in black and maybe you can get the red? Nope, there's orange. Well, that was pretty. Cool. This is like cool. This is like a little grab bag. My sweat is just dripping off. <laughs> it's that weird sweat though. What kind? What's weird sweat? <laughs> like it's Ooh, not. Ink. It, it's not hot out here. It's that I've been lifting heavy stuff for like <laughs> 45 minutes kind of sweat. And last one. Ooh, it's like a purple. bluish purple. Yeah, it looked like Periwinkle from Blue's Clues. But seriously, we would have missed that box. And look, that's all brand new eyeliner and makeup. And this is all brand new jewelry. Party in lane two, party in lane two. So we just pulled down this Farberware pan set. It's taped shut, so we know it's probably not new, new. Unless they just wanted to open it and see if it was in there. But let us see what is in there. Just cut. You know what? Me and this thing are going to beef. I'm going to throw it in the river when we're done with this video. Oh, it looks like it might be in there. There's no way this can be new, would it? You think they pack it? Probably. Or they probably saved the packaging. No, it's not new, but some of these might be. That's a brand new frying pan. Yeah, that's new. That's cool. All right. So there's another one in there, a smaller one. There's two pans they never use. And the other ones are probably in the random kitchen boxes we boxed up so far. That right there. I'm gonna guess it's probably one of them. But hey, I might keep these. I'm so sad, our party at this lane finally over. Look, all the cars left. Can you believe that at one time, this entire facility, not one other lane had one car, and this one had five vehicles here? The math, the math. All right, let's take our chances with this one. Ugh. The office ones in the past, a lot of them have been paper, but I hear rattling in here, so. As far as I know, paper doesn't rattle. So let's see what's in it. If it'll open. Come on, bot. Cooperate. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Okay. It didn't really be nice. We kind of had to force it to cooperate. What do we have in here? That thing. This looks like it could be new. A bed skirt and sham set for a queen bed. Look, a dog set. Oh, cool. A leash and three balls. <laughs> All right. So the dog will be happy. Yep. Oh, look, a Bluetooth speaker. What is it? No, it's not in there. It was a boss Bluetooth speaker. Do you see what I see? I see a bunch of hotel soaps. Why do you have all the hotel <laughs> soaps? But yeah, right. I see this. This is what I was referring to. Ooh, let's set it over here. You ready? Yep. Oh, hey. there we go. Can we have some more gold? Let's look at that ring first. It's pretty, isn't it? Yes, it is. But does it have markings? It doesn't. No. Why do you guys have so much costume jewelry? Oh, oh, oh! You like those I wish reflexes? I was back here and recorded that. That was pretty good. This has an engraving one, <laughs> but I can't read it. This could be gold. I can't read what it says. What about that? Look at that thing. That's probably costume jewelry. I mean, some of the crazy designed ones. That has an engraving too, though. So I don't know. Crap. All right, let's look at like a smaller one. Whoa! Look at that. Cool. That's a creepy looking face. And this guy, whoa, if that was a diamond, whew, that'd be a lot of money right there. Let's see if that has a marking. This one does not. But a few of these have something written in them, but they could just be initials, they could be the brand. Look at that, little gold bracelet. That has a chance of being gold because it's just how little it is. Let's see. Yeah, this is marked 10K. So we'll acid test it when we get home, but that's probably gold based on just how thin it is. It's really light though, so it's not gonna be worth a whole lot, but it's still gold, gold is gold. Isn't that one of those like, I think it's called a herringbone? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no kinks in this one either. Good, so maybe that'll increase its value a little bit. The rest of this stuff looks like costume jewelry, but we'll definitely test it all. Well, this is an interesting office box, huh? Um, folder, I think if I've learned today is I shouldn't trust their labels. They're mostly right, but they also put other stuff in there. What is this? Cinema. 
What's enema? <laughs> oh god, you're laughing at something I, bad, isn't it? I think you're sticking your butt. What? I don't want to look. I don't know if I want to. So hold on. This is what it says. Um, instill contents of one enema into rectum every evening. All right. Enema. <laughs> you just had to get your hands on that box, huh? You had to touch it too. <laughs> you gotta get some former owner booty. Thread. Sewing. More fabric. So we're gonna have a lot of sewing stuff when it's all said and done. But I pulled this tote out here too. Let's see. That looks like it might be even more crafting stuff. I just lost the marker. Looks like an allergy pen. What are they called? Epi pen? Yeah, it looks like an epi pen. I don't know. Here's a little necklace in here. Let's see if this has a marking on it. If it does, it's definitely have to be scrap gold because it's bent all up and everything. But it doesn't. That doesn't mean it's not real though. But hey, I'm glad we opened it because I almost put it on the box or just put it on the truck thinking it was just paperwork. I'm happy. Let's get some of these little green toads out the way. I've been avoiding them because I don't know why for some reason in my head, they just have to not have good stuff. But hopefully I'm wrong. What does that even say? Lace and ribbons. All right. This is an interesting looking ribbon here, isn't it? Yep. Oh, look at this lace. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here though, actually? That looks old. Whoa. Hey, thank you. Cool. <laughs> You know, we never came here at night because we're like, we're not going to have light. Now we know it has light. What is this thing? A vacuum packet? I have no idea. All right. This looks like it's going to be a bunch of medical stuff other than that. Yeah, the rest of it's just medical stuff. Having fun? Yeah. Well. Somebody thought they'd play cameraman on the plane. I was about to say, we're losing daylight. Usually we come during the day, but because it rained during the day, we had to wait till the evening. So we're going to have to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you keep coming back because I'm loving this unit. Peace out.